So what the heck do you do if you're getting knee pain while riding a bike? In this video, I'm gonna tell you. My name is Dr. Story. I've been a chiropractor for over 25 years and I see a lot of runners and I see a lot of cyclists, but not for why you'd think. And ironically, knee pain is somewhat, it's common, but it's not as common as you think. And the solutions are different whether you're a runner or a cyclist. And because I'm doing this on my cycling channel, I'm gonna let you know what I've done clinically for patients and what I've noticed. Here's the main thing that you wanna know is that if you're getting knee pain from riding a bike, it's probably not stemming from your knee. Usually knee pain during cycling is either a foot problem or a hip problem, stability problem. And so what I would suggest that you do is you can go to my other channel, which is the chiropractic channel, and learn exercises for the hips. But essentially, if it's a hip problem, doing clamshells, doing abductions, doing monster walks, doing squats with bands around your knees, these are all good things to strengthen your hips. And if you are getting knee pain because of, of a hip problem, those are largely going to solve the problem. Now, if it's a foot problem, that's a little more complicated and there is some science to it, but I can tell you essentially a do-it-yourself type of guide. The best over-the-counter orthotics that you can get are soft sole. Now, they have a low, a medium, and a high. And because they're so inexpensive, you could literally buy all three of them and experiment with them. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you have a good insole for your foot because anything where the foot is locked into place on your on your pedal now your knee has to follow whatever path that's going to take and if the path is bad at the foot you're usually going to get a strain on your knee and of course the repetitive nature of cycling is that you're going to get a repetitive knee injury so what you do is you buy the soft soles and I'm gonna put links down below to Amazon. I do get a commission, but buy what you want. It doesn't matter to me. The, the thing that you wanna do first is get a good insole and you wanna make sure that it's pushing up on your arch enough that you notice it for the first 15 minutes. And by the way, a lot of the stuff I learned actually through clinical experience and uh, through Steve Hogg, uh, just his website. Then the second thing is, if that doesn't really solve the problem, you can try wedges. And there's, if you're in America, there's bikefit.com, and I'll put a link to them down below. You can order wedges and from them directly or through uh, Amazon, whatever you want. The wedging of the foot can actually make a difference in the alignment of your knees. The third thing that you want to consider with your feet is the Q factor. And if you have a mountain bike and you don't get pain, but you have a road bike and you get pain, that's a clue that uh, it's probably the Q factor because mountain bikes, the feet are wider. So you can get pedal extenders. There's lots of different things that you can get that would widen your stance. So if you're a heavy set rider, if you're not you know, built like Alberto Contador or Chris Froome or someone like that, if you're not a narrow-waisted person and you're a wide hip person, then those pedal extenders can make a significant difference. But as a general rule, if you're having knee pain, it's very solvable on the bike. And again, I mentioned it earlier in the video, I see a lot of runners and runners are just destroyed. They have knee problems. With every step, there's compression of the femoral tibial joint. They get a lot of osteoarthritis and it really becomes a, a never-ending battle of trying to solve their problems and they just seem to spiral downhill as they get older whereas with cycling if you already have osteoarthritis it's actually not a big deal because you're doing a range of motion with cycling and you're using your muscles but there's no compression of the femoral tibial joint and therefore if you have a lot of osteoarthritis of your knees very often cycling is very beneficial for that. In fact, if you've ever had a knee surgery, an arthroscopic or ACL, if you go to physical therapy, what's the first thing they do? They put you on a bike. So clearly, it's the right thing for knee problems. Now, the last thing that I'll mention regarding uh, your cleats is if your cleats are too far forward, you tend to use your quads more, whereas if you have the cleats more, instead of, they call it four aft, if the cleats are near your heel or closer to, towards your heel, you tend to have less knee pain 
and because you're using more of your glutes and your hamstrings during the pedal cycle. So if you can, move the cleats back as far as you can. Now there are some things for speed play as well as the Shimano type of pedals and I'll put some links for those companies. And with all these companies, if you can, buy directly from the companies. Um, you're not saving that much more by going to like Amazon or something like that. So that's my personal preference is to buy directly from the company themselves. But if you are already having existing knee pain and you'd like to learn how to massage your quads yourself, then I'm gonna put a link down below. You can watch that. And that's something that you should do even if you don't have knee pain, it'll help with recovery. And listen, if you can subscribe to my channel, I greatly appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up and hopefully we'll all be healthier.